One thing many companies will be looking at, what will rising rates mean for the dollar? The strong dollar has had a negative impact on earnings of multinational companies this year. So what happens now that the Fed appears to be getting ready to tighten? And for that, we turn to Sarah Eisen. Everyone loves the dollar right now. That's largely thanks to the Federal Reserve. In the currency market, money always chases yield. That's why it's been pouring into the U.S. dollar in hopes of the first Fed rate increase in a decade this week. It's pushed the dollar to its strongest level in 12 years. Great if you've got travel plans to Europe or Asia, but painful for U.S. corporations across industries that do business abroad, from food and household products to farming and technology. The dollar's gotten so strong lately that it's actually cutting into U.S. economic growth. So what happens now that a Federal Reserve rate hike is already priced into markets? Well, most strategists say that the dollar is set to continue to strengthen in 2016, even if the Fed does take it slow with raising rates, because it is still raising rates, which is more than most major economies around the world are doing right now. They're cutting rates or easing policy, like Europe and China. And that all makes the dollar an attractive bet. Many say next year we'll see it rise all the way to parity with the euro, one euro to one U.S. dollar, as long as the U.S. continues to be a bright spot in the world economy. Still, the bulk of the dollar surge may be behind us. In other words, instead of the sharp climb that we've seen over the last year, the dollar's gains may be slower and bumpier. And that would certainly be helpful for CEOs doing business overseas and even for the Fed, because the more it talks up the recovery and its tighter policies, the stronger the dollar gets. Maybe a badge of honor for the U.S., but it also comes with some unwanted side effects. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Sarah Eisen.